Eon, welcome to Nuket from Orbit, a show dedicated to the finer delicacies found in the freezer aisle. Uh, incidentally, today on Nuket from Orbit, we're not actually going to be nuking anything, we're going to be throwing something in the oven. I have a pesto and mozzarella. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. Wood fire Italian style crust pizza. Serves three. Servings three. Doesn't mean it's going to serve three. Uh, private selection pesto and mozzarella pizza is made with a traditional crust imported from Italy. I doubt that. This hand-stretched dough is baked in a wood fire oven to make the perfect base for our authentic ingredients. Private Selection Journey rewards your sense of good taste inspired by food artisans and crafted with authentic ingredients. Tantalizing recipes each Private Selection offering is sure to feed your passion for gourmet food. We'll put that to the best. It even has pairing and plating styles. Serve the side salad of fresh baby arugula topped with parmesan shavings and drizzled with fresh lemon juice and olive oil, which is actually how I enjoy my salads with the olive oil and lemon juice. Usually sesame oil, though. Finish the meal with private selection sorbet for a truly Italian taste. Product pla placement. Um, the serving size for this is 300 cal 350 calories, 150 from fat uh, per serving, so uh, probably not too good for you. Uh, each serving has 40% of your daily recommended sodium, so uh, pretty salty as everything we're going to do on this show is going to probably be. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it says to preheat the oven to 350. We'll take it out and take a look. It has like these little pearls of mozzarella, I guess. I've seen this on this style of thing before. I like shitty microwavable food. And they're not fucking kidding when they say it's a thin crust. But yeah, they have these little medallions of mozzarella, but super thin, and since I live in Arizona, uh, it is already kind of thawing just from the drive home. So, I am going to get this prepared, and we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. So, uh, the crust crisped up pretty nice. I just cut a big slice since it's a uh, thin crust. We'll just do this New York style the crust. Really crisp, crisp but nice. Better than I thought it would. They overload that with pesto, which is great because I love pesto, but um, if you're not a fan of pesto, this is not the pizza for you, which you probably already knew. There's so much pesto. This is crazy because this thing was only like four bucks, which is fairly inexpensive for a gourmet microwave pizza. Um, mozzarella is really good. It's got nice freshness to it. The dough, I don't know if it's their oven grill, wood fire oven grill that they did before it, before they froze it, which they may not have done. It's a little chewy in um, not a fond way, which overly glutinous. Um, the dough is not terrible, but for a thin crust, it's not quite a thin crust, but it's not quite a regular crust. It's kind of in this weird in-between position. I just look at this as a high rating. We don't really do ratings here, but um, maybe we should. Yeah, it's almost like eating Shabbat's bread, which is a strange thing for pizza. Um, almost like pita. Um, I'd give this a three out of five. Five being best, one being worst. It's not terrible. I'd definitely buy it again. Uh, I really like pesto, and I like it on my pizzas, so this is pretty good. Um, it would have been better if they had some chicken, because I'm an unrepentant carnivore, I guess. But yeah, no, for a, for a, just a pet, pesto and mozzarella pizza, this is really good. I would definitely uh, get this again. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching.